Yo, welcome to the Vibe Provider Podcast. I'm your host, Caitlin Friel, and uh, happy Friday. Um, I'm ready to yap. I'm ready to talk your ears off. So before we get into the topic, we always do a little life update, what our hyperfixations are, all the things. Um, so I didn't really talk about this in my last episode because I had a guest and I did not want to take up time from her topic. So I'm just going to fill you in on how my trip to California for my cousin's 40th birthday went. She had three other friends uh, come with and she got a house in Newport, um, Balboa area, and it was so cute, so nice, like so perfect. Um, and we ate at fancy restaurants. We had a beach day. We walked around Balboa. We rode the $2 ferry or like $1.75 ferry. We got a little Duffy boat and like puttered around the bay or like, I don't know what it's called, but, um, and we looked at like all these massive houses and it was so freaking cute. If, if you haven't rented a Duffy boat, in, if you're visiting um, Newport, you really should. It was so fun. We did it for two hours. I think it was like 200 something dollars. Um, and you can like bring food and drinks. And we just listened to music and looked at all the houses, like I said. And it was so fun. And then we did a Disney day and it was so good. Uh, we rode rides and ate food. And so celebrating my cousin's birthday with her was a blast. Um, so that was that, but I'm actually going to Disney again. (laughs) So back in my, back in March or early April, I did an episode and I told you guys that me and friends went to Disney for our birthday. We all have March birthdays. And during the trip, we ended up upgrading our tickets to magic key passes, which is just like a season pass to Disney. And so while we were still there back in March, we were like, so when are we going to use our magic key again? <laughs> so before we even left our birthday trip, we had this trip planned. Um, but fun fact, my two friends, um, their husbands are coming and it's going to be so fun. Uh, their husbands are so freaking funny. Um, They are just like fun to be around. So I'm really just going to be there with like the most fun, funny people. Um, And they, one of the husbands started like a Disney group chat and I love the energy. Like what sir is going to start a group chat? Like one who is so excited and so ready to just party. And so when he started that chat, I was like, oh, that's so cute. He's so excited. So I will obviously fill you guys in on the trip when I get back. Um. But I go, so another thing I wanted to update you guys on is sometimes I go through um, movie phases (laughs) where I love going to the movies. Like sometimes I just can't. I just don't like going to the movies. I don't like leaving my dogs at home for two hours when I could just watch a movie at home with them. But then again, I don't even really like watching movies and TV and stuff at home. I don't know. I'm weird. Well, that's wrong. If the show's right, like Wednesday, the summer I turned pretty, etc., But normally I'm not a TV watcher. That's Kala. I am really into going to the movies. But I'm really into going to the movies right now. So we just saw If um, the other day. It was okay. The reason I was excited to see it was Jim from The Office. I think his name's John Kravinsky or something. Um, He was like the director or producer. And then like Ryan Reynolds is like one of the lead roles. And then all these imaginary friends are like huge people like Blake Lively, um, some comedians, and I can't really think of the others. But so I was like, this is going to be so freaking hilarious. It's going to be so good. And then we went and it was just okay. It was like kind of sad, but it was like, it was fine. But I was like, oh, if I was at home watching this on Netflix, I would have like, I would have turned it off. I don't know if it was like boring or why I just like was not into it. Um, But since I'm in my movie phase, I want to go see Fall Guys with Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. It's supposed to be like a comedy action movie. So I'm going to give this a shot. If the movie is not that great, then I'm probably going to be out of my movie phase because two movies in a row that were just like not great. 
Here in Utah, you can go see movies on Tuesdays for $5. So it's kind of nice. I'm reading again. It's been a while. It's been since like, gosh, end of April. So it's like middle of May and I'm finally picking up like my first book for May. So we're getting back into it. We're getting back into reading. I go through like phases like I'll read five books a month and then now it's like middle of May and I'm like finally picking up my first book, but that's normal for me. Oh, I forgot to tell you that when we're in Disney, it'll be Pixar Fest. So it's going to like, they're going to have like little booths for food and things and like, it's going to be kind of like um, when we went for Food and Wine Festival in Disney California Adventure. Now it's going to be Pixar Fest and it's kind of have, it's going to be like same vibes. Like there's going to be booths to order food, but they're all like Pixar themed. So it's going to be chill. It's going to be good. I'm seeing like TikToks and reels of like all the things you need to eat in Pixar Fest. So, you know, I'd be saving those. But some other things I wanted to talk about was something I saw on social media. Um, and there's this influencer and she went to Europe and she's wearing like flats. And you're probably like, Caitlin, why are you bringing this up? Um, I'm bringing this up because who goes to Europe and wears flats? Like, they do not look comfortable at all. They look like they have no soul. I guess people like being barefoot, but... Um, and, like, at the end of the day, it's really not that serious. Like, it's not that serious. But I'm just confused on, like... My brain can just not fathom going to Europe or like Disney or like a vacation where you're doing lots of walking and wearing shoes for just like the fit to like look cute. Like I really cannot. I tried in Greece, but I really ended up just packing shoes that I knew were going to be comfortable because I just cannot. Like hokas are my jam and even hoka sandals, like anything comfortable like Birkenstock sandals, Um, yes, I just, I just couldn't wrap my head around that she's not wearing comfortable shoes. So I don't know if I need validation or what. Like, if you're like, Caitlin, I agree. You should be wearing comfortable shoes. Or if you're like, girl, we got to be cute. And, you know, the feet can get some blisters for the, for the pics, for the fits, for the, for whatever. So anyways, I just really wanted to bring that up because are are we people who are dressing to look cute even if it will kill us or if we're like comfort at all costs girls and guys anyways I will die comfortable like I will be wearing the cozy shirt the cozy pants the plush socks the comfortable shoes arch support all of it I love (laughs) But we're switching over to current hyperfixations, and one of them is cream puffs. So my friend Missy, who was on the podcast last week, checked out Kitchen. Um, she's a baker girl. She be bacon, and she be good at it. Um, and she recently went to a class. Oh, gosh, I can't remember what it's called. Patashu? Mm, I don't know. Don't kill me if that's wrong. She has started making cream puffs. And oh my gosh, they one look like they're from like a freaking perfect upscale bakery and two, they taste amazing. So good. Um, and so I tried that the other day and I looked at her and I was like, awesome, new current hyperfixation. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to lie, like anything she makes and it ends up being like my current food hyperfixation. And so now cream puffs it is. Um, and then another current hyperfixation is Amazon shopping. I don't know if any of you guys are getting sucked into the Amazon dupe people like on Instagram, like influencers being like, oh, free people dupe this, something, something dupe that. Like there's this girl I follow. Her name's Charlie and she's always posting. It seems like the best things that Amazon has to offer. But I've been like trying to not spend money, Um, but it's been hard. It's definitely been hard. I feel like I've been really, really good. So we can be proud about that. But I will say I did buy three things from Amazon and they were all t-shirts and two of them are just striped and then one is just a plain one and 
I'm excited. I'm excited to report back when I get them in the mail. They're probably coming from far away because they're taking a minute. To, it's not prime. These were not prime items. Um, so I'm excited. I love like oversized flowy t-shirts. I don't like things touching my body. So let's hope that they fit good. Um, one of them is it's that like crew neck that's green and pink striped and it's long sleeve but it came in a short sleeve option so I ordered that and then I ordered another one in like another colorway and then just a, a white shirt with like a blue cuff around the um neckline and sleeve anyways I want to buy like so much more but I'm trying to like pace myself and like not spend a whole much on clothes and things because I like spending my money on other stuff like mmm traveling obviously um and I might be needing to get a new car I don't know I don't know I have a 2005 Honda Pilot and it's free it is zero dollars it just runs forever um but that is getting old and it'd be making some noises but overall it is running it has a six cd player in it <laughs> with all Taylor Swift CDs and it's a it's my dog mom car so anyways I'm trying to like save my money to like maybe get something newer new to me I don't know anyways it's it is early to tell I shouldn't be blabbing but we're moving on we're moving on to kind of our topic our topic is like what I'm gatekeeping on accident and summer bucket list because oh my gosh I'm excited for summer the weather is turning and anyway so that's like our topic is I'm accidentally gatekeeping things from you and I'm excited to tell you guys my summer bucket list and I will be making a post on social media to be like, what are we doing this summer? Because I want to know. Okay, so things I've been gatekeeping. Number one being these super cute free people pants. They're called the Dana Trouser, I want to say. They are cotton. They're stretchy. They're color. The colors are good they be cute. The ones I have are yellow with blue and pink stripes and oh my gosh they're so cute. The color is so fun. I'll have to link them for you guys on like Instagram or something um, but I love and they're $72 I want to say and there's five different colors and I'm literally trying not to go back and buy a second pair but I don't know if I'm strong enough so anyways. Okay that was item one. Item two I, well, no, my niece, Kaylee, bless her soul. She works at Bath and Body Works. And I really like the Glossier perfume, but it is like, it's pricey. And I literally run out of it so fast. And so it's just, it's hard to buy because I know it's not going to last me a while. And one spending like over $50 on perfume was like, it's hard for me. So she told me that Bath and Body Works came out with dupes for these popular perfumes one of them being the Glossier perfume and it's called If You Musk and it, I kid you not, it smells exactly like it. Um, she showed me a few others that were like, this one smelled like Tom Ford or this one smelled like, like I can't even remember because I don't even care about those other perfumes. But when she told me that there was a dupe for the Glossier perfume, the it's body spray so I feel like it doesn't last as long as perfume. Um, at least that's what I thought. And then I bought it. It's 18. It's like pretty much $19 for a bottle of body spray. And I ordered it and it came in. It smells just like it. And I wore it one day and I like went heavy because I was, oh, this body spray will like disappear faster than I want it to. I kid you not, that was sticking all day. Like I was smelling it throughout the day. I'm obsessed. I love but the problem is they do not have them in store. I guess they had them in store and they all sold out. So they have them online. So it's called If You Musk. Um, and again, I can like link all this in my Instagram stories or through a post or something. But guys and girls, it smells so good. It smells exactly like it. And then there were some others, but I just, I can't remember what perfumes they were dupes for. But yeah, like I said, I really only cared about the Glossier one. So I bought it. I got it. I love it. And I will be purchasing when it runs out. And I hope they keep it forever because if they discontinue it, it will be it will be a hard day. Moving on. 
my brother's skincare routine. So if you guys don't know this, my brother is a dermatologist resident and he's finishing up his last year of residency. So I be asking him all the skin things. And fun fact, my sister-in-law who he's married to was an esthetician. Um, so fun fact, my sister-in-law actually gets me like professional grade skincare that like you have to like get through an esthetician or um, a dermatologist. So I'm like set up with a good quality skincare routine, which I love. But my brother was here visiting and I walk past the bathroom while he's doing like his like washing his face before going to bed. I kid you not, he's using a Neutrogena like gentle cleanser and for his moisturizer, he's using um, La Roche-Posay, I think that's how you say it, and I'm like, sir, you're using like, like grocery store, like skincare, and he's like, yeah, like it doesn't need to be crazy, like I'm assuming he doesn't have super sensitive skin, but he's like, all you need is a gentle cleanser that works with your skin. Same with a moisturizer, same with sunscreen. So this is his skincare lineup in the morning. Neutrogena Hydro, Hydro Boost with Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Gel Cleanser, fragrance free. So that's a gentle cleanser. Then his moisturizer was La Roche-Posay um, double repair matte moisturizer and then his skincare was hydro boost hyaluronic acid moisturizer so that's his big three for the morning then in the evening he's using his hydro Butte, he's using his neutrogena gentle cleanser and then okay this is when things get crazy and this is what i didn't know so one he cleansed two he used retinol and that was his nighttime routine. He did not put moisturizer on. And I guess let me specify, like, this is what works for him. He's a dermatologist. He knows these things work with his skin, and that's great. Um, but I'm just, like, telling this to you guys because I was so shocked because you'd think, like, dermatologists would be using, like, crazy expensive products. But, like, he's just using these things that he knows will work, and he and it, and it works with his skincare. But... If you have like severe skin problems or acne or actually you don't even need any problems at all, but if you like want to find something, you should probably talk to an esthetician or a dermatologist for your skin. Um, this was just shocking to me about how simple his routine was. So I'm just sharing his routine, but um, see a dermatologist for all your skin questions. That was an easy skincare. He just used three things in the morning, a cleanser, a moisturizer and a sunscreen and at night he just used a cleanser and a retinol so the next thing on my list was retinol because I am not using it well I wasn't at the time um but I have since gotten a prescription for retinol um he was using a prescription retinol um I got a prescription retinol so I'm not sure of any good retinols that you can get from the store I would just suggest you going to a dermatologist and like finding out what retinol works for you. But my brother said, he said, if there's any skincare that you could be doing, it's retinol. And it's, he said that even teenagers as young as 15 should be starting using retinol and using retinol till like you die till forever. So he was saying that retinol, he, so at night he cleansed. And then dried off his face and then used a pea size amount of retinol all over his whole face. And he said retinol helped with acne, dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles. And honestly, I think he said other things, but it just like he had a he had someone come in um to his to the practice he works for, and he could tell like she was older, but her skin was so flawless that he was like, I can tell her she's aging because like the way her face, like, you know, skin sinks in. And when you get older, you know, you can just, you're, you can just tell, but her skin was so great. And he was like, ma'am, like, do you mind if I ask you like how old you are? And she said like 65. And he's like, what are you using? And she's like, I've been using retinol for 35 years. Um, so anyways, he told me that story 
yeah and so it was crazy I, what retinol just seems like something you'd use like when you're older but the fact that he said that as young as 15 he like teenagers should be using retinol and that helps with acne as well so anyways i'm not trying to gatekeep retinol everyone go talk to your dermatologist find a retinol that's perfect for you i started using it um and i think it'll just help like my cells turn over or something not sure do your research talk to your dermatologist but my brother, he said that if there's any skincare to use, it would be retinol. So crazy that he mentioned as young as 15, but that's awesome. Love it. And the reason why he doesn't put moisturizer on afterwards is because he felt like it held in the retinol so well that like it can make your skin flake and it can like retinol is strong. You have to be really, really careful with it. So he doesn't use moisturizer with it, so it, like, doesn't penetrate his skin super crazy like it would if adding moisturizer on top. So, anyways, enough about the skincare, um, but I really wanted to share about his skincare routine, how simple it was, and how you can find all those things at Target, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, um, and then sharing about retinol because I was not aware, but I do have my prescription. It came in the mail, and I just started using it at night pea size amount only and I will report back if I feel like I can see any differences in my skin okay last thing before we get into the summer bucket list blackstone I am not gonna be gatekeeping blackstone I don't know if I call it a grill because it's like it's actually a cast iron grill I guess um and we made smash burgers on it for the first time, like we got, we went and got the Blackstone and the very first thing we did on it was make smash burgers and oh my gosh, it tasted like the restaurants. I love smash burgers. There's a place here in Utah that does smash burgers. It's called Tony Burger. I kid you not. They tasted just like any other smash burger place I love. So I am excited to be using the Blackstone and now I want to like find all the fun recipes to make on it. I love cast iron cooking. It's so yummy. Um, so I'm going to be going down a rabbit hole on Pinterest and TikTok and just finding all the recipes I need to do because having Missy on last week has been making me excited to like meal plan and figure out what we're making. So, so I'm excited to use that and like have fun with cooking. So anyways, that's all the gatekeeping I accidentally did. I feel like my conscious is clear. You guys know all the things I've been loving. Um, so moving on to summer bucket list. I, I really love knowing what everyone loves to do in the summer. So these are the things that I want to do. I'm very particular, like some things I just don't vibe with. So I didn't add it on here that like you probably would want to do. Um, so this is a very niche list. It's literally just made for my interests. Number one, go camping. We are going on a camping trip. We're going to Swan Valley, Idaho, and it's like right outside Jackson Hole. And we've gone there before and it was a freaking blast. We floated the river. We went on hikes to lakes. We visited Jackson Hole. Like it was so fun. So I cannot wait to go back. Um, but yeah, just camping in general. We'll hopefully we'll do like smaller camping trips, like on the weekends and stuff after work. Um Next, I have visit a farmer's market, but Kala really likes to go and get our produce there. So I think we're going to be going, hitting up some farmer's markets. I want to read specifically outside. I want to read in my beach chair next to water or just when the sun is shining. Um, reading in my beach chair is like my favorite thing. Um, go on a road trip. So I would say like kind of going to Swan Valley would be like a road trip, but um, I would love to go to St. George and visit a friend, um, maybe go to Las Vegas and visit my brother um, or Pocatello and visit my other brother, um, maybe take a little fun trip. Oh, I might be going on a road trip, actually. My family's doing like a like a small family reunion, um, so maybe I'll road trip to that. We don't know. Um cook but specifically on our grill our smoker our blackstone our pizza oven just using those things they just seem like it makes it more fun like grilling is so yummy because i feel like we don't really grill in the winter time so grilling using the pizza oven is so fun and so good so just cooking outside i guess 
um, water park, but specifically hitting up that lazy river. Catch me in the lazy river at any water park and just leave me there until it's time to go. I love floating. Floating's my favorite. I like floating in lakes, um, in my little inner tube. So, oh, going to the beach or lake. I don't know if we'll be going to any beaches this summer, so lakes are gonna have to do. I love floating, like I said, and I guess that goes with the next one, boating. I love boating. There is something about sitting on a boat and just bopping around is so fun. Um, and getting getting a little cooler with ice cold drinks and some snacks and just jumping in when you get hot. I just I love. Oh, this one I wanted to do last year, but we didn't. Um, having outdoor movies. I got this screen from Target and um, a projector, and so I want to be having more outdoor movies. I probably need to get a speaker, um, and just figuring out how to use it. So that's one thing I need to do. Um, before it gets warm out and anyways, so I want to start having more outdoor movies, um, a family game night. We have, um, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law who just live like 30, 45 minutes away and having family game nights with them is a blast. So hopefully we can like plan some, we do them like spontaneous when we like go over there for dinner, but I want to like plan to do it. Like (sighs) when we get there, we just start up the games. Oh, go hammocking. There are some great spots in Utah to go hammocking. And last year I didn't. So this year I want to make an effort to pack up the hammocks, which is not a lot of packing. Literally they come in like a little bag and go in and find some trees and maybe bring in my book and some snacks and drinks and just like enjoying the outdoors and relaxing. Mm, That literally sounds so good right now. Oh, I want to go to a garage sale. My sister-in-law is so amazing and so thrifty and she finds amazing things at garage sales, at thrift stores, and I want to find something fun and amazing at a garage sale. So I want to stop spontaneously at garage sales this summer and see if I find something. And if I do, I'm going to have to report back. Oh, this one's going to be fun. I want to do a family slumber party with my niece and nephew, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law and their kids. Um... And my sister, or my sister-in-law's sister, I think it'd be such a blast. We could like go do it at my sister-in-law's house. It's pretty big, and we could just have like mo- like late night movies and like games and treats and things. I think it'd be so fun, and we all just like sleep on the couch and floor or something. I don't know. That just it sounded fun, so I added it. Go to a baseball game, get a hot dog, get some popcorn, just. I'm not like super into baseball, but I like going with friends and like chatting and yapping the whole time. So hopefully we'll do that. We always like sit in the grass and like bring blankets. Um, Oh, I want to go fishing. I really want to go fishing. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I think it could be boring, but I think it could also be fun. So we'll see. Um, A backyard barbecue kind of goes with like cooking, like cooking outside, grilling and the things that I mentioned earlier. But I think think it'd be so fun to have we had a backyard barbecue with friends last year and it was a blast so whether we do that again or do it with family I think that'd be fun I had a blast um I've been wanting to learn Hawaiian on Duolingo my husband knows fluent Hawaiian he's half Hawaiian and he's from Hawaii and I just like want to speak some Hawaiian so I can like teach our children and like have Kala teach them too. Um, so I've been talking to Kala about it. He's been just like doing it on Duolingo because they just, I think they added Hawaiian too, to it. And so he's been doing it, but he's like, they don't really teach you. It's like, I don't know. I've been talking to him about it. So anyways, that's always been on my mind, even since we've gotten married, because I, like, want our kids to be cultured and, like, know their culture, so anyways, that's on my summer bucket list, is to, like, I guess learn a new language, but there's, like, good reasoning behind it. Oh, a backyard bonfire. I think that'd be fun. The one thing I hate, though, is having a bonfire and then going inside and then, like, I'm all smoky, (laughs) but you just gotta do it because it's not that serious. So a backyard bonfire, most of the stuff ends up, we end up doing with our family, but we love spending time with them. So, and they're just the best people to hang out with. Um, but also with friends and I guess like you don't even need friends or family to do it. Like you can just do it with your 
your partner and roast s'mores and just talk like I just say with friends or family because I I love doing group things um last thing on my summer bucket list float the river I love floating the river it's like up there with boating for me I love floating so floating down a river and yapping the whole time with my friends in Kalaw is just a blast. So we did it last year and I want to do it again this year. I want to do it multiple times, but realistically, once or twice is probably enough. So that is definitely something I want to do. I always have a blast doing that. Um, But anyways, I can't wait to post on social media and see what you guys have on your summer bucket list. I hope you guys plan and like romanticize the summer and and just make it a fun season so but thanks for listening and i can't wait to talk to you guys next week bye